Hey guys, this is CJ from CombatFoodMedic.com. I know a few of you have asked how to uh, prepare butternut squash. So I got my lovely assistant and wife is going to be showing you how she actually prepares it. How to do different cuts and then we'll go into the cooking process. Would you like to tell us um, why you made these different cuts and um, how you can use them? Actually, all three different cuts could cook all the same way. Depends on what you want it for. You could stir fry it. You could put in a soup. You could mix in with other vegetables. And you could put in stools. But And you said you can dehydrate them all also. Yes, right? you could dehydrate them. And most likely, you could pickle them as well. Mm -hmm. And you say you make your different cuts depending on you want um, certain textures. Yes, the, the texture is different. The cooking time is different. And of course, the julienne would cook the, the fastest. And then the, 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 the uh, slices, then the cubes. Mm -hmm. And like I say, they all can be cooked the same way. Mm -hmm. It just takes longer or shorter and the and the, the texture will be different. Okay. But the taste is still the same. Right. All right. Well, we just wanted to uh throw that out there real quick for you guys to kinda like give you an idea of why um she does the different cuts and how they're um um how they look, the texture, uh cooking cooking time is affected on how, how you uh slice your vegetables. So we'll uh, get back to you when we're uh, cooking. All right, see you later. Hey guys, this is CJ. We're about to cook the uh, butternut squash. And uh, I'm gonna let my wife kind of talk about what it is she's doing to uh, get it prepared and, and to cook it. So what are you putting in so far? Bacon grease, chopped garlic, chopped green onion, And I like these, what we call the shrimp skin, little teeny tiny shrimpies for extra flavor. And I also like to have a squeeze of uh, anchovy paste. And some hot peppers my lazy way of chopping it. The hot pepper is optional. Anchovy is optional. Little shrimp skin is... Pretty much everything is optional. So. But you'll miss it. Yeah, but it does help. It gives you that umami. Looks like I need a little more, more bacon grease. Okay. Now these seasoning spices, whatever, is start to uh, cook up a little bit, and you put your shredded squash in there. And a little teeny tiny spoon of sea salt. I think that's equal to about one eighth of a teaspoon, I think. Or maybe one quarter teaspoon I might. Like. Okay. And now just cover it and let it cook for a couple minutes and stir in between. 
All right, we'll be back. There you have it, butternut squash for those who are not sure how to make butternut squash, enjoy.